quantity 1 versus quantity 2. Now, what is quantity 1? More number of days A will take than B to finish the work independently. This is quantity 1. If onwards the condition starts. So, from there the real question is you have to solve and then find out the value here quantity 1 and then quantity 2. What is quantity 2? Days taken by them together to finish the job by them. Them here is what? X, Y and Z, right? X, Y and Z. If some data given there, some conditions given there. So, let us let's solve it. Yeah. Should we solve this now? All right, uh, let's let's solve this. So quantity one and quantity two. Quantity one, more number of days A will take than B to finish the work independently. So basically in quantity one, we have to find out A minus B. What is A difference B? You know, more number of days A will take than B to finish the work independently. And days taken by them together to finish the job independently. Uh, days taken by them together to finish the job. This is about quantity two, okay? So solve for quantity one first, quantity one quantity 1 right now what does it say he's talking about a and b here he says if they both work daily if they work both they work, uh, work daily provided yeah i think quantity 1 actual question is still this point right yeah so more number of days a will take than b to finish the work independently if they both work daily provided two men a and b working alternately alternately after every two days can finish a work in 14 days with a starting the work first and if they work together daily then they can finish 120 percent of the same work in eight days now try and understand he says there are two men a and b working alternately alternately after every two days after every two days and then they can finish the work in 14 days then they can finish the work in 14 days starting with a a starts the work first so you understand they are working alternatively. We have discussed this type of question, right? What happens when people work alternately? It's first day A work, second day B, then A and then B and then A and then B and so on, right? So if they work for 14 days, I can say seven days A has worked and seven days B has worked. In these 14 days, seven days A would have worked and the remaining seven days B would have worked. But be careful here, they are working alternately after every two days, after every two days, be very careful. So once you say after every two days, you cannot divide 14 days equally between A and B. Because what would happen is, if you see, let's write 1 to 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are all days, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you don't have to do this in the exam, I'm just trying to explain you what's the case here, right? So who will work on 1st and 2nd day? A, 3rd and 4th day? B, 5th and 6th day? A, 7th and 8th day? B, 9th and 10th day? A, 11th and 12th day? B, and then 13th and 14th day, again, again A comes back into picture. So for how many cycles has A worked? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 cycles of 2 days each. 1st and 2nd day, 5th and 6th day, 9th and 10th day, 13th and 14th day, 8 days. And B has worked only for 3 cycles, 3rd and 4th day, 7th and 8th day, and 11th and 12th day. So 3 into 2, 6 days. So if you observe, out of these 14 days, A has contributed for 8 days and B has contributed for 6 days. And they could finish the work. They could finish the work. And A had started the work. So suppose if he says B had started the work, then what happens? B would have taken 8 days and C A would have taken 6 days. So I think the first condition is that a works for 8 days, B works for 6 days, they finish the work. You know that if A works for 8 days, the total, see, in each day A can do 1 by A. In each day B can do 1 by B. A work for 8 days, so 8 by A. B work for 6 days, so 6 by B. You understand, the capacities are 1 by A and 1 by B. A work for 8 days and B work for 6 days. So 8 times of 1 by A, 6 times of 1 by B equals to 1. They finish the work, right? They finish the work. Work can always be taken as one unit. The total work can be taken as one. Unitary method. Remember unitary method? We have discussed about this in our time and work videos. You can follow that. So 8 by A plus 6 by B equals to 1. That's the first equation. Yeah? Second equation. What is the second equation? If they work together daily. If they work together. Now they are working together. Not alternately. Earlier they were working alternately. Now they are working together daily. They can finish 120% of the same work in 8 days. Now when they are working together for 8 days, what happens? A will finish, A will do 8 by A times of the work and B will do 8 by B times of the work. You understand? A's capacity, in each day A can do 1 by A. So 8 days, 8 by A. In each day B can do 1 by B. 8 days, 8 by B. 
How much of work will they finish? 120% of the same work. See, work for us is equal to one unit. So 120% of the work implies what? 120% of the work, 120% of the work is equal to 1.2. You understand? 120% of 1. 120% of 1 is 1.2. So this should be equal to 1.2. That's it. These are the two equations. Solve for these two equations, get the values of A and B, and then take A minus B as the answer for quantity 1. A minus C is the answer for quantity 1. You able to follow? Okay. I hope all of you are getting it, right? Now solve for this, what happens? I think if I directly subtract the first equation from the second one, what do we get? Uh, 8 by A and 8 by A get cancelled. 8 by B minus 6 by B. So 2 by B equals to 0.2. 2 by B is equal to 0.2, right? 1.2 minus 1 is 0.2, which implies B is equal to 10 b is equal to 10 b is equal to 10 now substitute b equals to 10 somewhere uh, b equals to 10 so 8 by a plus 6 by 10 is 3 by 5 equals to 1 so 1 minus 3 by 5 2 by 5 8 by a equals to 2 by 5 8 by a equals to 2 by 5 implies a is equal to 8 into 5 40 by 2 20 a is equal to 20 and i'm solving it mentally you can also do it yourself a comes out to be 20. What is he asking us to find out? More number of days A will take than B to finish the work independently. So if they are working independently, I know that A can finish the work in 20 days. B will finish it in 10 days. So how many more days does A take? A takes 10 more days, right? 20 minus 10. 20 minus 10, which is equal to 10. So quantity 1 is equal to 10. For us, quantity 1 is equal to 10. Now work on quantity 2. Now work on quantity 2, right? What is quantity 2? Days taken by them together to finish the job if among x, y and z, x and y together can do a piece of work in 40 days, right? y and z can together do it in 30 days and z and x can together do it in 24 days. Simply, if you understand, 1 by x plus 1 by y equals to 1 by 40. 1 by y plus 1 by z equals to 1 by 30. And 1 by z plus 1 by x is equal to 1 by 24. You understand? x and y work together so x will do 1 by x y will do 1 by y they can do it in 40 days that means the total capacity is 1 by 40 similarly for the other two pairs this is a standard question quantity 2 is a standard question from time and work in fact this is model 2 or i think model 3 of our time and work videos we have discussed the same question type there so straight away i mean you don't even have to write this you can in fact take lcm of these three uh, values where find out the overall capacity and then divide by 2 to get the required answer. Anyway, when you solve altogether, what happens? You see 2 times of 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z. Right? See 1 by x, 1 by x, 2 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by y, 2 1 by y, and 1 by z, and 1 by z, 2 1 by z equals to sum of these 3. 1 by 40 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 24. Okay, now solve for this 1 by 40, 1 by 30, 1 by 24. I think LCM is how much? 120 is LCM, right? So 3 times, 4 times, and 5 times. 3 plus 4, 7 plus 5, 12. 12 by 120, which is 1 by 10. It comes out to be 1 by 10. Now twice of their capacity is 1 by 10. That means their actual capacity will be how much? 1 by 20. You understand? 2 times of their capacity comes out, comes out to be 1 by 10 actual capacity of all three of them together will be 1 by 20. I mean taking this two in the denominator 1 by 20. That means the total capacity working together is 1 by 20. So how many days will they take? 20 days. So the number of days taken by them to finish the job is 20 days. So quantity 2 is 20. Now what is the comparison? Quantity 1 is less than quantity 2. Option 3 should be the answer. Again, quantity 1 is 10, quantity 2 is 20. So 1 is less than 2. Quantity 1 is less than quantity 2. Option 3 is the answer. 